shut up. Shut up, please. I'm begging you. Shut up. You're not even. Oh, thank God. It's been quite some time since I. <clears throat> God damn. Well, my mic fucked up during this recording, and that's kind of a bummer. It was my first time recording in quite some time, so I guess something was just bound to go wrong, right? I'm still going to make the most of this footage and try to use what I did because I did make progress, which I know is quite rare for me in Polybridge, so I want to highlight that. We just had to beat this final level in the Tropical Paradise. This was the last level that we had over budget and we had to get it under, and I just completely restarted. One thing I learned from this is that as I've played more poly bridge and, you know, beat the harder levels, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at the game and a level like this was really easy and it showed when I beat it on my first try. Oops, cut. Made a lot of what I thought at the time were improvements, but the bridge performed the exact same, so I don't know what I did. Although I did find out that rope was stronger than wood, which didn't actually give me some improvements to my bridge. Well, at least I thought I made it better, but then I opened this spot up so this car could get through. And then this happened. I added some support here, see, before, after, and it worked like a charm. Except this blue car and this piece of wood. But I just added this support and then removed this other support and it worked perfectly. And then I found out that it wasn't just being under budget. It had to be under budget and no breakage. And this was surprising to me because I thought some levels had, the bridges had to be broken if you wanted to beat them. I didn't know you could actually beat some of these without even breaking them, but here we are. So at this point, I'm just curious how many I can go through. And this is the first one. I'm just looking for quick, easy things I can do to make it not break and obviously still stay under budget. Otherwise that kind of ruins the point of it. This one's just a simple pressure break, an easy fix. We just got to get that thing out of the way. There's a sweet spot in here where it won't go quite too f uh, I'm gonna give up on the- oh shit. Elegant is always deep voice, John. What I was trying to say was there's a sweet spot where it would just go right through and it won't lose too much momentum. And I found it because I'm the best. This one was a bit weird. Uh, some misdirection was performed on myself by myself, unfortunately. I thought I needed to maybe open the bridge up and I quickly realized that I couldn't rely on a bridge that I built to do what I wanted it to do. So instead of, you know, putting any trust in my bridge on doing what I tried to design it to do, instead, I just let it be a normal bridge and I just moved it out of the way. Uh-oh. All right, well, I had to still finagle with it a little bit, but it wasn't too much. And then look at this car. It just launches off. No tire touch. That's bonus points right there, baby. Uh, this, besides one other one, easily has the most footage in my timeline, so I'm really excited to go through this level. Oh, God, it's this one. I did kind of struggle in this one. For some reason, I couldn't get out of my brain that this bridge wasn't meant to be broken, and I kept trying to build it the same old way. I built it like a cheap-ass carnival ride that just is tossed together, and there's definitely going to be a fatality of, like, a 13-year-old kid that's going to happen on it, and they're going to be like, oh, my God, we're so sorry, and then they're going to promise, like, better ones next year, but it's going to be the same shit, and nothing's going to change, and now... 14 year old's gonna die and it's gonna be the same one because they miraculously saved him the first time but then he died again and the carnival still didn't do anything about it oh i switched maps on accident this one needed some fixing but it was just some real simple stuff just some uh, a little bit better supports there and just take out those old wooden ones just because they weren't quite holding up as well steel's so durable you don't need as much of it i mean it was uh just easy as that now back on the original level i definitely realized i had to try some different things while those things, some of them seem to maybe help a little bit, others definitely seem to not help at all. <clears throat> too much weight, too much budget. And honestly, just as time goes on and the more and more I messed with it, the more and more I found one that was getting closer and closer to working. While it was still taking some damage on some runs, it wasn't falling apart completely. You know, there's a couple broken roads, a couple broken wooden pieces. The next part was just me messing with these pieces of wood, trying to get them in the right order to support correctly, but also not break. That was the biggest headache of this level. It was just small details. I changed the angle, please don't. Okay, nothing broke. And my tedious work paid off in the end. Am I proud of it? I guess. This one was quite easy. Pretty much steel was the savior on this one. I had plenty of extra budget and uh, all I really needed to do is just throw out that nasty rotted wood and just put some steel there, baby. Steel. And it works like a charm. We did it. This one ended up being a pretty simple fix up job as well, although I didn't break how I was expecting it to. All I had to do is remove this road, add it back, but I didn't make it attached. I just used a little rope, hang it up, alleviate some of that. It still broke. I tried raising it up a bit more, but that also broke. So I raised it up more and that actually worked. The car was so rough on it, I thought I was gonna break it, but it didn't. Good job, car and me. This one was quite simple to fix. I just uh, did absolutely nothing. And it just, it just worked. I don't know. Welcome to Polybridge. This just shows how bad at bridge building I used to be. 
And I guess I still am. I started upgrading the old design because if it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it. But then I realized it is broken, so I had to fix it. I upgraded the main launch ramp. It's yeah, <laughs> a little bit tragic on the landing. I then blindly readjusted the height of all these rows and enchanted them with the good karma of the bridges that came before them. And it turns out that, oh, that's it. That's exactly what they needed. This is the final level I decided to challenge myself before leaving Polybridge. Although I hate to be a buzzkill to myself. I ended up not even doing this and I was just gonna save it for next video. Although next video is now gonna be part of this video, all because of my mic issues. I'm gonna go through the remaining levels that I have and get as many done as possible in, in the rest of this video. Hopefully have the next video just start me on the new secret hidden levels. They're not new, they're not a secret, and they're not gonna be hidden for much longer. I wasn't expecting to be back so soon, Polly Bridge, but here we are. How much do we have left to do? We have so many levels that we have to do. We're gonna have to blow through these in some crazy montage-like style and I've already put in we'll see what happens. What does this one need? We already worked on this one slightly, right? So this one should almost be done one quick Google search and that should tell me everything I need to know Come on go you bitch Ah ha 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 I did it Google didn't really help much It gave me like a very basic outline, but that was still kind of rough. I think this is gonna work right Oh wait. No, this one definitely not 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 I feel like it's not if we just gotta change angles i bet i bet if we change angles a bit they just can't hit midair i mean besides the fact that that broke coming off of it that was actually like genuinely better what if i support it there fuck because like now they actually both oh you son of a bitch this one flies too well Ah, you bitch. I might have to replace that with steel. Actually, wait, why did I not already do that? That should have been the first thing I did. Although, me change- Dude. There we go. Downward tube. Oh, word. That's an easy fix. What about this? Is that better? Nope. I just gotta support this better. I've completely rehauled this brit. Oh shit. I mean, maybe it's like not a good idea to like give it a bigger ramp to go off of. Just a guess, but it's cooler. And I think that's really the idea here. See, now that's not what I wanna do. Can I like make it like just, no. What if I like maybe, ah, and just like that, easiest pie or something. Cake, which one's easier? There's no way. How do you do this one without- what? This one doesn't actually seem possible. How do you make it fall without breaking? Yeah, I guess that's one issue. How do I make it not fall? Um, maybe like a- Yeah, that doesn't really work if you don't have a road. Or maybe it's just because these aren't- this isn't rigid. How does that hold up? Oh, poor ladies. <laughs> Fuck. I put so much work into that and I honestly thought I had something. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more than that. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this car goes a lot slower than I thought. You know, I think I have the right idea, just the wrong execution going on here. Um, so let's just, let's delete uh, most and then like maybe we have like a connector here and like maybe another road there, like more connecting almost, but not quite. How do I support that? I think I'm gonna have to use more steel. I don't really know if there's like a, an ideal area. Can I reach it with wood? Oh, I can't. Wait. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I want to reach them both with wood, you son of a bitch. There we go. Um, so then this road can be attached here. I need steel coming out to support. I feel like that's going to be wobbly. Oh, you're right. I got to connect it here, which I guess could be done. I'm just going to see if that does anything. I mean, that does keep it up. Just that puts me over budget too, fuck. Okay, it's holding, we're over budget, fuck. I just don't think this is gonna work, even if it does tip over more. Yep, roll. Okay, still breaks the whole bridge. Come on, fall, fall. I'll be honest, I definitely looked that up, and man, that's such a cool way to beat that level. Oh, I'm over budget. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, here we go. No, you know, this is proof right here that it's not as simple as just looking up a solution, right? You know, I might have like saw the way it was done, but I don't know how we did it. You know what I mean? So that still makes it pretty difficult. 
Oh, there it is. And ta-da, baby. And we're under budget. We have so many left to do still. What happens on this? Oh, okay. I had this beat. This was beaten. Oh, that's how it's up. Okay. I mean, I have a lot of spare budget on this one, so maybe I can just make it survive. All right, that was easy. Very close on the budget on this one. Where does it break? Is it, is it gonna be where it's super stressed out? Ooh, yep, rope is stronger. Oh, it goes over budget. What if we drop this all down? See if it works at saving us money. If not, we can still replace it with steel. Honestly, don't tell anybody. Shh. We're still under budget. It worked. And that should be hopefully strong enough. If not, then well, we cry. I think we might be crying. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, barely went over, but that's all it takes. It's just barely. I'm curious if I can like save money somewhere else. Like, do I even need this? Will that break whenever it disconnects? It doesn't break and I don't need it again. So we could like save some money there in order to... Oh, we don't have any more steel. And then reinforce the road. One more reinforcement. That's gonna hold up. I'm feeling good about this one. Shit. Wait, what if I just do... But then I can remove these. I didn't realize there was an anchor point over there. I... I, I literally just now realized there's an anchor point over there. Ups, holy fuck. I have to watch this so many times in order to find out where... It's just... Oh, it's just that part right there. Now we gotta watch it all again. Oh, God. I don't remember where it broke. I hope this, God, this is gonna be such an annoying. I think that, I think it broke right there. Maybe here. I didn't hear a break though. It was definitely already broken by this car. So I think we beat it. Well, we beat that, that's easy. Another level done. We only got 15, oh God. Jump, jump again, jump, jump again. More like jump, jump, I win. That one was actually close. Oh, and that was not close. Oh wait, I guess I could reinforce these with wood. Maybe that'll help. It didn't help enough. Okay, I'm gonna slow this down because I'm on, I'm don't, true. Like, how is that breaking it? Look how barely this touches it. It's so gentle on it. It's so gentle. Just like a Charmin's new ultra gentle. Here it comes, slow down. Oi, mate. I'm supporting the fuck out of this for now until I know I don't have to necessarily. Oh, all right, and we did it. Congrats. We just beat it first try, and that's how simple it was. I definitely didn't struggle with that for like 15 minutes. <laughs> What's this one? Double jump? Oh, great. More. Dude, I didn't realize there were so many of these. Polybridge really enjoyed doing these, huh? They really enjoyed having two fucking of their little vehicles cross over each other right through the middle, huh? There's so many of these levels, apparently. All right, I thought I might have just nailed it right off the rip there, but it sucks because like I can have one working one, but having one working one and the other one not is just as big of an issue as having like neither working. Because like when you change one, it's going to change how the other works. See, but if I lower this, then I know it's going to change the way this one launches off, which isn't going to make how this one reacts differently. Maybe I'm having the wrong one go over top the other one. Is that like a possibility? Honestly, I think we get the point of it all, right? You know, we have 14 levels more to go. I'll probably be some offline. I might come back to do more later. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys don't see more in this, maybe I'll probably just finish up the rest in the next video as well. I honestly, I, there was way more than I thought there was going to be. So that's my fault. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, as always, be sure to drop a like down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Peace. Oh God, uh -huh. just come up on check, check, make my own bread, take in front of practice, cause my holy fully dead, oh God.